before I come into the discussion on frequency modulation, let's take a look on the three types of signal. The first one will be the modulating signal. So basically, this is the information that we actually want to send to the recipient. The modulating signal is also known as baseband signal or intelligent signal. Next, we'll be moving on to the carrier. Like the name implies, carrier simply helps to carry the information. The carrier over here actually is known as unmodulated carrier signal because they has not carried any information currently. As you can see from here, the carrier typically has a higher frequency as compared to the modulating signal. What is actually modulation? In simple definition, modulation is actually a combination of the modulating signal plus the carrier. And in this particular case, they actually form the frequency modulated signal. So basically, what is frequency modulation? In FM, the frequency of the carrier change according to the amplitude of the modulating signal, while the amplitude of the carrier remain unchanged. What does this mean? This means that this is the carrier signal. The frequency of the carrier signal actually will change with respect to the amplitude of the modulating signal to form this so-called frequency modulated signal. Let's take a close look on these two diagram here. So basically, you can see that this is actually the modulating signal. The modulating signal typically has lower frequency as compared to the carrier. The carrier is actually blue in color. This is what I mentioned earlier on. This is what we call the unmodulated carrier signal, which means that they have not carried any information at all. So from here, you can see the contrast on the frequency. Modulating, lower frequency, carrier having a higher frequency. So what happened here is basically, this is what we call this as frequency modulated signal. So what does this mean? Let's take a look over at this point here. While you can see that this is actually the modulating signal, while we are at the lowest point, which is the lowest amplitude of the modulating signal, this can be actually represented at the lowest frequency. And you can see that this thing move on to the center point, which is zero over here. You can see that how we actually represent over here actually by the frequency of the carrier. Next, you can see that the amplitude further increase at the maximum. So this is actually the maximum amplitude of the modulating signal. And again, we can represent by the maximum frequency. So imagine this, you can see that this little dash actually appear over here. So when they actually move to the yellow, you can imagine that this dash actually shift to the middle. So after that, they further increase, which means that they further shift to the right. So basically, this is how we represent frequency modulated signal. So over here, you can see that the carrier frequency actually changed with the amplitude of the modulating signal. With this, if you're keen, please see the playlist for more information 